But moving on, let's talk specifically about the event I attended with you in South Hall on, what day was it? Wednesday? Tuesday. On Tuesday. Tell us more about that because I had the opportunity to meet and engage with, tell the people. So, um, Howard Cox is Reform UK's candidate for the London mayoral elections. Um, and he's going round um, all of London, um, visiting as many places, areas, boroughs of London as he can. And on Tuesday, we were lucky enough to have him visit Southall, um, which is where I'll be standing in the general election. Um, so we had a gathering of um, supporters and, and people that were interested in hearing about reform. Um, and, and it was a very informal meeting. Um, it was very two-way, people talking about some of their local concerns um, and Howard explaining his, his general position and, and policy on matters. Uh, I, I went along as an impartial journalist. I'd always try to be, I'm not always impartial, but I try to be, but I'm not a reform supporter, I'm making that clear, but you invited me and I believed it was important to get different points of view, but one thing I was really impressed with is Howard's knowledge, Howard's background, and the things he has done over the years. It is amazing. It is really, really impressive. Um, a, he's a really nice guy. Yeah. He's really down to earth. He's really friendly. He's really approachable. He's very bright. He's very switched on. Um, he's had very impressive career. Um, positions in his career and uh, he has led Fair Fuel UK and he has saved every single driver in this country thousands of pounds, thousands of pounds every year um, but in, in their pockets from the impact that Fair Fuel UK has had um, and, and currently you know we're, we're hoping in the budget um, which I believe I think is this week, Wednesday, yeah. um, Wednesday of this coming week that um, he will have had a big impact on, on the government by, if not freezing, lowering um, the fuel duty. Because so much of, of the cost of living crisis is um, impacted by the cost of our fuel. Obviously, you know, many, many people drive vehicles, but it's not just people who drive vehicles. You know, everyone who pays a plumber or who has a home care assistant come and do care for them is paying, is paying in the pocket for the ridiculously high price of, of, of taxation on fuel. And, and Howard has, over many years, been campaigning really hard. And, and he is one of the most successful campaigners this country has ever seen. Um, but I'll be honest with you, the, the challenge for Reform UK is getting Howard in front of people. It's getting people to know and be aware of the guy and what he's done and what he proposes to do for London. Because I've not met a single person who's heard him talk, who's met him, who, who don't conclude that this is a great guy. And frankly, significantly more impressive than the Conservative candidate, Susan someone, I can't even remember her name, who is thoroughly unimpressive. She has actually been a GLA member. She's been on the GLA for eight years, I believe. And what has she done to challenge Sadiq Khan? Absolutely nothing. I think she even chairs um, the, the police committee for the GLA. And what has happened? Police stations are closing down. Knife crime is going up. Violent crime is going up. She's been there in a position of power and influence and challenge to deal and challenge with these issues, but she's done absolutely nothing. Yet Howard Cox is, an, is a great guy who has done so much for the people of this country. But it's fair to say, not everyone knows about him in London. And this is what we've got to get people to, um, to learn about, to learn about the man Howard Cox. So, Steve, as normal, all I can say is thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. And you know I do like to be, I try to be, I'm not always impartial, I'll admit that, but I try to be. But I'll give you two minutes to look in the camera and say whatever you want. Thank you very much. Um, I would say, despite the unfortunate election of George Galloway, people, he, he did say one thing after, after his successful election, which I do agree with, and that is that the Labour Party and the Conservative Party today are different cheeks of the same arse. He was spot on on that point. 
He was absolutely spot on. So I do agree with him on that point. There's, there's, there's much that I do not, and I thoroughly disagree with George Galloway on, but on that point I agree. Can and, I add on? Can I just add yes. on? His use of the English language and the metaphors. <laughs> well, again, again, being fair and open and honest, I would say, to give George Galloway due credit, he is a fantastic orator. He, 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 he is one of the best orators, and, and he also is charismatic. I mean, I despise the man as a vile, vile, hateful individual, but he has char charisma, and he was a great orator. But I guess people might say the same for Adolf Hitler, so that's, that's, that's not necessarily a great thing. But, but as I say, so, so going back to um, what I want to say is that Yes, Conservative and Labour are different cheeks of the same ass, and I just really, really wish people would stop voting for either of them. Neither of them stand for the core groups that they used to stand for. Labour Party doesn't stand for the working man and woman. Conservative Party aren't Conservative. They don't stand for Conservative people. Um, stop voting for them. With our first-past-the-post system, it's very difficult for other parties to, to gain success. But to do that, people have stop, got to stop voting for this two-horse race of Conservatives and Labour. No one is impressed and happy and satisfied with where the country is. The, the, the levels of trust and faith in our politicians today in Britain is at an all-time low. It's appalling. But if you keep voting for these clowns, you will keep getting these clowns. So reform are a sensible, pragmatic, sensible party. We're in the middle. We are not far right, we are not far left. We are sensible people with practical, pragmatic views. Many of us who've never been in politics before, but we, we're choosing or trying to get into politics to make that real difference. So just look at us. If you've not heard of Howard Cox, if you've not seen Howard Cox talk, look him out. There's plenty of, plenty of um, videos on YouTube, plenty of stuff on the, on the internet. He'll probably be coming to a borough near you. Go and meet the guy. Talk to the guy. He's very um, amiable. Go and ask him your questions. He will make a difference. He will do a better job than Sadiq Khan. I've met yet to meet a person that likes Sadiq Khan. He will do a better job than Susan Hu, the Conservative candidate. Look into Howard Cox and consider giving reform your vote on May the 2nd in the London mayoral elections and in the GLA elections. Steve, thank you very much, sir.